Hello everyone, this is Prakash from Logo Land. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be the third part of uh, Golden Ratio series. If you missed out my previous video, you can go and check the description box where I already placed the link. So in, the, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can create logo through the sketch comply with the rule of golden ratio. So let's start this. Thank you. So hello everyone. So this is the picture on the mobile you can see. I'm, I have taken this as a reference. So I'm going to start sketching out of this and we'll take that sketching and uh, illustrator and then we start uh, creating the logo, actual logo and we'll also keep uh, uh, the golden ratio in our mind. So let's start this here. So I'm going to create a circle layer, circular uh, logo actually. Okay, I'm going to create a circular logo. So first, uh, I'm going to create a circle actually. So I'm done with the sketching over here. Hello everyone. You can see on the sc uh, screen, uh, this is the sketch we had just created and gonna use uh, as a logo a reference. Uh, we'll also keep the golden ratio in our mind while creating this. And let's see uh, this. Uh, what are these stuff. So this is the geometry. These are the geometry we had created in the last video. If you really missed out watching, so you can go and check the description box. We are already placed uh, the link of this video so in this video uh, we fall follow, uh, following the golden ratio we had created the set of circle the set of square so these are the proportion so whenever we need to go and create a circular kind of uh, logo so we can take the help of this 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 set of uh, circle and if you need to create a flat line and square line and straight line logos we can take the help of this so let I'm going to copy this set of circle over here. So in the starting, make sure you uh, make sure you just uh, set this as a template in your layer so that it should not move. So in the starting, uh, I just want to give you a tip: never go and enlarge circle individually. So this is this is the <clears throat> this is what you're gonna do is uh, uh, you are uh, coming out of the golden ratio rule. So you have to select all together in one go and then enlarge. This is what you have to do so that you are maintaining the golden ratio proportion. So come here. Actually, the sketch is very big in size. So I have taken all the set of circle here. I'm going to match. Let's match it here. So I'm just watching my outer circle, the bigger circle, if this is getting matched with the uh, boundary of the sketch. I think it is going very well. I know the sketch I have created, <laughs> it is not proper round in shape. So here I'm uh, going to I'll rectify my mistake in Illustrator actually. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to take this uh, circle let's place here so let's uh, take this circle and i think it, this is this is not uh, this is not going to work on this curve actually this work this curve actually so i'm again going to copy this and let's place this here now create this line so again i'm going to take this circle let's I think we should place it here this point 
and this i think going okay so now let's create this line so in order to do that i think it will work yeah it, it is working let's take help out of this so somewhere here we have to find find out the proper proper place actually according to your sketch maybe according to your visualization you can mold the thing according to your while working so this is on the proper place right uh, according to me so let's create the bake bake so this circle i think will be appropriate it will uh, match so i'm going to make it little bigger uh, okay so i just wanted to start from this point like this okay so you can also visualize the things according to your according to your comfortability according to your visualize uh, according to uh, shape and whatever you are thinking about so this is okay uh, with me so i need to create this portion of which is under the bake so i'm going to take this one this one will work, will work. okay but i don't want to uh, flow with the sketch here i need need to place uh, i think the pro proper placement would be here i think so go like this here actually there's a problem all are not matching i i want just want to have a inter intersection point intersection point here so i just need this here actually okay so and this one i think this should come somewhere here now let's uh, place this here make sure the actually according to me i just want to have an intersection point here where the line from all the shapes all the circle could meet this has been uh, so much uh, bulky i think so i need to take this out like this maybe this much i think according to me so that's okay i think okay so i'm taking all the circle here and coping i'm just coping and placing here so bring them down so that we can check side by side sketch what's going on so let's activate our uh, pathfinder tool shift m now i need to create this part so i think this one this one okay so now we need to create this part so these part will be included okay now we need to create this one just click on this and let's create wait okay let's create this one i think we all we are done with all the shapes so these are the unnecessary shape laying over here just uh, trash them i'm gonna delete okay i'm gonna delete this one as well okay so let's delete this one as well okay let's add color select this one and i'm gonna i would like to add blue color in this let's add blue color and let's uh, add yellow color in this i'm visualizing the color uh, in real parrot by seeing uh, we have created the sketch actually 
so here I'm going to add little red, orange one actually not the yellow one let's add orange in this uh, I think I would like to have the red one it will look appropriate then we can add here gray color if we add red one so it will be uh, it will look mixed with the red one so it will not look properly it will not be visible so I'm avoiding the red color in this so here I'm going to get rid of uh, all the stroke I don't don't want to have it let's add eyes so so we can take this actually <laughs> so we can take this one otherwise it will work you can take out the outer circle I'm going to take this one I will let's place this one here so let's click and okay so though we have uh, already done the main shape uh, of the logo so there's one more uh, trick we can perform just uh, copy this so let uh, let's make it even more better in look what we can do is that's one more copy over here I'm just uh, keeping it safe on the this side actually let's select this one I'm going to switch on its uh, stroke let's uh, increase its size to 40 I think 40 will be appropriate I think so I don't need the inner circle in this one let's get rid of this I don't need this okay I'm going to switch off all the fill color let's switch all fill color and uh, you can see spiky points are sticking out and crossing the boundary let's uh, set let's fix them by doing so okay let's convert all the stroke into shape by clicking on the expand command okay and let's uh, unite them so i'm going to, i'm going to, i'm going to group this select this one select this one and align so next what i'm going to do is select all the element all together so i'm going to take shape builder tail uh, shape builder uh, tool so while pressing alt command let's get rid of the get rid of these shapes so this is how we can have actually a little gap in between the shape so this is the one we have created after having some gap this is the last one we have created <coughs> we had created so that's I think I'm happy with this now I can have the same color as the red one okay let's make a small and uh, let's give give it a name so see you to cute round parrot and the round round parrot so let's change it so you can also prefer the font whichever you like go you find that is uh, proper going with logo so I'm I'm most of the time I just I would like to stick with a, a simple font uh, sans serif font So I'm going to add So uh, that's all for this video I hope you understood all processor how we can apply the set of circle we already defined keeping the uh, golden ratio in your mind 
so this is what we can say we have created this parrot round parrot with the help of colon ratio so that's all for this video i will see you in my another video thank you if you really found my video useful to you don't forget to leave a like and subscribe my channel if you didn't subscribe go down there and click on the bell icon and do let me know what have you learned today from my video by commenting the comment box and one more thing don't miss out my next video because that video is going to link with this series so i am going to see you in the next video thank you bye